all the lovers of freedom all over the world god bless you all we are here again and this is your beloved brother comrade newton Igbenegun, the abdic job of activism the hero for democracy and ambassador for good governance we are trying to see set the red cross traits we will try our best to make sure the first narrative of yesterday we we'll try to put it right before our people irrespective of whosoever it may concern so a quest for a gene is not a thing that's easy persistently keep on doing it it took hundreds of years before the children of israelites got their freedom Uh, it is not in the mind of your oppressor for them to give you freedom. It's never in their mind. You have to keep on demanding for it, keep on fighting for it. So God Almighty bless you. Please, if you are watching, as usual, help us to share. And I want to be praying for all our followers, all our fans. Even at times, the people that support us financially in your little way also. God Almighty will bless you. Whatever thing you sow into this, um, very struggle, it will never go in vain, and you have a long way to go, also. That's why, like, one thing I so much believe is this there is always appreciation in everything you do well. If you can repeat, your offspring might repeat. That's why, what we are enjoying today, according to the story, it is the sacrifice of Abraham. That's what every one of us is enjoying today. That's why we can go into the throne of grace and begin to shout, God, remember your promises to us, Abraham. But we have not been able to trace our ancestors to any level. I don't cannot say today, uh, what of Bavora Mesod is what we are reaping. They can't say. And that's supposed to be an ancestor for the Edo to be praying in the name of uh, Bavora Mesod. But you see, every one of us, we adapt the one of, we don't even know how it came. Even the one we know how it came, we are not interested. Please, if you are watching, do not hesitate to share. It is your sharing that will make this video to go viral. God bless you. Today's day is, it's on the 30th of March, Wednesday, 2022. It's a year we must live to remember. Things are still skyrocketing, light bills are increasing. You know, food stuff are increasing. So God will help each and every one of us. For those of you that feel it's a normal thing, well, let's see what happens later in the day. For those of you that want to reach us at time, our phone number remains plus 34-631-056-284. God bless you. As I introduce the topic to you, what they tell you not to do is what they love doing and their way of life. What they tell you not to do is what they love doing. And it is their way of life. So that's that. Disobedient to nature can make your life miserable. If you are disobedient to nature, that can make your life miserable. Your vast stupidity does not make you understand that your leadership is bad. Most of us today, because we are ignorant, we like, no, let me use the word stupidity. People's stupidity does not make them understand that their leader is bad. It does not make them understand. If you watch what is happening in Kaduna, in the north, north side of Kaduna also, stadium, we are attacked by bandits. Uh, no, um, airport, we are attacked by bandits. Rail track have been attacked by bandits. Killings, a lot of people have been attacked. Abuja, Kaduna, road you can't pass it and this is what that is happening in all nigeria today everywhere but people are still feeling it does not concern me can they kidnap me now they can't kidnap me but until the fight that is in nigeria every nigerian whether you are in Oklahoma, you are in a burkina faso you are in a KV in, uh, in Ukraine. You are in Moscow in uh, Austria, uh, in Russia. You are in Ultra in Vienna. 
You are a medibug in, uh, in Australia, my dear. Or till we take it as a problem, nothing will ever be done. Because the reason why we want to compare to the Bible, we, be, we believe in the body of Christ. And I so much love it. That you people, you set up this race. And I don't know why a lot of you are, you are not running. What you claim that is good. There are a lot of prerequisites. There are a lot of things we are supposed to be using it for. Now you people say we believe on the word of God. And I'll be sharing the same word of God with you. And you are not ready to counter what I'm telling you. That this thing is lie. This don't the meaning. That's today right now. We are going to be talking about some critical aspect of the Bible. We want to be looking at uh, give what belongs to Caesar to Caesar. <laughs> you know what I know how to do. I think it's like a, a pandemic or epidemic. My thinking is spread more than uh, uh, Zeta Cron. It is spread well, well. So that's that. So, and now, what the Bible put down, how a society is supposed to be, even the Jesus Christ that we are following today, the life that is bent in living when he was alive, according to the story, none of all lives it. Bad society retates this very young man. Bad society retates him. Oppression retates him. Death retates him. Check all what's happening in Nigeria. A lot of you never see understand that it's the population agenda. It is the population. This is how they are going to be doing it. Be that the injection did not say in Nigeria. Start uh, doing mayhem. Now, all of you that are talking about Ukraine, the people that have died in Nigeria in this month, is more than the old casualty in the old Ukraine. Don't be trying to be sensible for once. Try and use your iroro. Brain is used for thinking, not to pull face cap. I just put a cap at time, make my head not to fear you. I'm not using it to cover anything. Brain, head, is used for thinking. Not to put a scar to plate it and pray in my head. But a lot of us today will beautify our head. But the head we are beautifying, not is inside. It's not co head. How long are we going to continue like that? And yet, what we are claiming is not in our lives individually, it's not in our society. Look at the condition of Nigeria today. Is getting bad as each day passes by. Is getting bad in the day. Is getting it bad in the night. Government are becoming so wicked. Our leaders are becoming so wicked. From local government, from federal government, up to local government constituency. But right now, in the same Nigeria, instead of people trying to see what can we do to make sure this country is okay, we are still projecting some leaders. Who under their watch? They, def they never the one they defend our constitutions. We are still trying to protect them. That is one will be a place. If the people that is watching right now concentrate in cricket love and like, I think this video will. We also, you know. So that's that. So what is going to benefit us? It does not really come easily. They know that light is good. That's why they have not been able to give you light until today. So let me continue with the introductions. Your stupidity did not make you understand that your leadership is bad. Punishment for this. There is a punishment for disobedience. And we're going to be seeing it. Give what belongs to Caesar to Caesar. And give to God what belongs to God. We are going to be also be saying that. Changing the first narrative of yesterday. We changed the first narrative of yesterday. What we are doing. And uh, for those of you that do follow us. And you still more believe on the God that sent us. God will bless you. Because not everybody will believe. Even it happened in the time of Jesus. That the whole world right now, black race, the military. I think I saw a post that somebody wrote that uh, he bring, uh, I think, uh, Ghana players. Because the Nigeria refused to qualify. Nigeria started scattering stadium. I have not seen anywhere in the world that footballer will lost a match. And they are not scattering their stadium because of insecurity. They are scattering their stadium because of a football match. You don't know say Nigeria before no go win. Now, I don't know why people are hoping for things that will never work. Okay, Nigeria is not working in electricity. It's not working in terms of uh, taking care of its citizens. It's not working in terms of uh, uh, insecurity or security. Then you expect them to work in football. Nigeria, when are we going to be wise for once? You people really make that place a zoo. 
you are fighting because what did you expect from Nigeria? You are expecting them to win football. When even the people clapping for them, who their spirit were supposed to energize the, the super idiots. They are selling out their destiny already. Taribo where was he not a part of it? Because you guys are late, Taribo West and the atrocity of uh, Kanu Wanko and uh, JJ Okocha and uh, uh, Vitor Ikpeba also, and the rest of other players. Is it not enough for your ancestors to turn against them to lose? So that they'll go and hold these uh, uh, Suba Ego footballers who went to go and endorse ancestors to come and see rule them, even when ancestors have already chosen another representative. I don't know what time we cry and God answers our prayer, we'll be complaining. You cried and go answer your prayer, you'll be complaining. Do you think it was the very day that the children of Israel started praying? In Ezra 3 verse 9, that was the very day God answered them. It took time. Every prayer you are praying, keep on what you hate today, hate it tomorrow, don't compromise your value. That's why the more day they break now, the more I'm accelerating whatever thing I detect that this is, is what cost me in our society. Whether I used to support it before, there is a way I blunt it out. I was one first with the, I was I, I once prayed the name of body the, the blood of Jesus. I found out that I have to do a reflection since I was born. Now I'm getting old. What does the blood of Jesus Christ be doing? I found out that I have not been doing anything. But rather than God. That's why today we are taking it out gradually. And a lot of people they are testifying to it already. Ever a lot of people connect themselves back to nature, their life is good. I was the one that body brought up the narrative. Nobody paid me for this. I just don't have any native daughter sponsoring me. I'm not going to say that native me can't do one. But today, the native daughter, the good one inside, the good Ohembo, the good uh, all the seller, you know, they are getting more people coming back to, you know, to their natural self. There is a way you put this spirit, you put them in where they belong. They will leave you alone. We are going to be seeing uh, uh, punishment that follow disobedience. Let's start from this, uh, when they add Jesus in the book of Mark, 12 verse 13. He said, they, like, they was Herod, that's the Pharisees. They were trying to nail Jesus. Now, what did I have to get up? Please invite your friend. The Spirit of God wants to move mightily today again. Yesterday was good, today will be better, and tomorrow will be best. Now, there are a lot of questions, a lot of narrative that we are there. A lot of things that we are there. The fact when Jesus Christ comes, according to the story, he goes to start abolishing everything. I want to tell you how Jesus Christ uses his sense. And the reason why this character we are putting down, so that when you come across difficulties in your life, you know, you don't just hurry to start giving up judgment. Imagine most of you now, when they will ask you at times, uh, stupidly, you want to start misbehaving. They will ask you at times, eh, right now I'll give you my life to God. How do you see the life of your forefathers? You say it is what they believe on and it really worked for them. The God in that very iron, the God in that omila really worked for my father. Do you see some stupid children will say, my father, they worship devil in all their life. And they say your father that worship devil, which you claim. In his own house as a senior son, now you they sleep. Before your father reach your age, we worship devil so. He don't build house. You are for the something close to 50. Where so why no where? If you were married, go work away borene. If they don't send money from Jant, you cannot take care of your children. Look at what Jesus Christ said when he will ask a question. Now you want to come and represent God. And we all know who was Moses. There was a lot of things Moses himself put up in place. They were looking for a way to name him. They want to use his own word now. To, most, to make sure they put him in a state of cardiac of trouble. Look at the same Jesus Christ used in the book of Mark 12 verse 13. He said, later the elder sent some Pharisees and supporter of Herod. And meanwhile, when Jesus Christ was born, according to the story, Herod had been hunting looking to kill him. That's why if enemy meet you, they meet you for life. Almighty Gwebu Bogyobu or Gwebu Gobazua that's why you have to be vigilant and you know be extra careful if I, if you are giving me invitation i come to anywhere i may tell you i'm coming i know that there are enemies everywhere may only may talk you can even invite me for somewhere and i may not be i may not come i don't want me to come to my head because i'm already a threat to 
all these people that are senseless. Or they begin to see that our supporters are not massive. If I'm going to anywhere, my supporter there will be 80%. Why people that hate the truth, who is going to die soon, will be 20%. Not the way everything is right now. I'm taking fruit from their mouth right now. Pastors right now, no one that will love me. No one, because I'm trying to tell you the same thing they do that they stop you from. The same thing they tell you to hate. It is their lifestyle. But they pull you away from it. Because I'm not going with my word. You know? Now, he said later, he said later, the elder sent some Pharisees and supporters of error to trap Jesus. He told say something which could make them arrest him. They wanted to use his mouth right now. That was why they brought temptation before Jesus. Let me read for that. That Mark 12 verse 14. They said, teacher, they said, we know how honest you are. You are impartial. You don't play favoritism. You cheat the way of God truthfully. And now tell us, is this right to pay stars to Caesar or not? The same thing. Some elders will ask you one day, my son, we have seen that in the Old Testament they were always using a blood sacrifice. Even your forefathers, we saw it. They used to kick go, we kick go, go together here. Then they are looking for whether you are going to say your father was a stupid man. Look at what, look at the saint Jesus Christ used. That Mark 12, verse 15. He said, Should we pay then or should we not pay? Then Jesus Christ saw through their hypocrisy. He know that they know. He know that they are taking him. He know that they are not telling him the truth. He was a wise man. And you are claiming body of Christ. You are stupid. Now God will punish you, Jonah. Who talk? Why, why would you work on for it? You must die in a hurry. Why, why are you? I can't get it. You, you will die. Romeo must die. You will die. He said, Jesus saw through their hypocrisy and said, why are you trying to trap me? He said, well, show me Roman coin and I will tell you. Imagine a coin was what Jesus Christ used to settle what would have cost him. He was one so to He was a labine. He was a good money. Let's go to that man 12 verses 16. He said, when they handed it to him, that they not gave him the Roman coin, he asked, whose picture and title are stamped on it? Caesar, they replied. Caesar, they replied. The same way you will go and consult Oracle at times. He don't know about going to native daughter. You can just miss a soothsayer. Or we tell your family. Key a very big ram. Use it to atone for your late father. Those of you with the blood of Jesus, you will not do. But the one with the blood of God, they will understand that they were supposed to do it. And at times when some revelation like that comes, if you have too much blood of Jesus in your family, that they will never make it work. They'll say, I guess again, huh? No, I belong to the body of Christ. But you yourself that have the real God inside of you, they will just say, okay, now I will buy the ram. One want a one one one. Okay, on Sunday, okay, now Kagbe place one go down. We'll say, okay, now more than go down for Kagbe place. You will even sponsor it. But all those useless body of Christ in your family, worry about any eye. Most of the time, the people that carry the body of Christ, they are always the poorest. Now that they call they carry the matter, they mute you now. May you for dump your God, may you follow that their poverty. That's why he never do well, they never do well, now they are matter be. A rogue way is always a rogue way. Now he asked them, What title and stamp on it? They said, Caesar, they replied. In uh, that uh, Mark 12, verse 17, he said, Jesus Christ said to them, Give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar, and give to God what belongs to God. His reply completely amazed them. They all were astonished according to the reply he gave because they never expected it. They fed Jesus Christ go to say, Ah, Caesar the Christ. Come on, go and give everything to God. The same thing most of you are doing that makes you enter problem. 
you that just came up now you are not seeing anything good about your ancestors the life your forefather lived was a demonic life and may god deliver you you are not seeing anything good about the kind of life your mother lived a baby you were a gay a baby you were a gay walk out of banania where who man where you have mama you know even because these are brought today or oh, people come they go into nothing man your father is still better richer more educated than you i know what i'm saying your father is still better look at your mom he was only married to one man look at our life in europe today I'm not going to talk or finish. I'm saying we are not exempting anybody. Let us try and do reflections. But Jesus Christ will say, give me head of a Caesar. Give what belongs to Caesar to Caesar. If your ancestors demand ram from you, demand boo from you, demand crocodile and equigo from you, demand white chalk and sell canal, Put a white cloth in your backyard. If your ancestors demand it, give it to him or to them. And give to your body of Christ what they demand from you. That settled the issue. They were completely amazed. That place, they, they couldn't kidnap him again. That was when they said, we are going to trap him down. But most of you today have been trapped by your trances. That's why now your ancestors owe you. Most of you now, the spirit will follow you. Come, we suppose they guide you now. They propose you. Most of the time, they are just using other people's faces. The people of the of the world, the spirit realm, they can carry my face now. They use until they disturb me. That's why they will always say, "Oswajiha or Boriawa." If foolish person go consult Oracle, he go use and cause problem for everywhere because it does not use his sense. And they even as far say it na sense. Now they don't until they play oracle. They know they see also where go any. They know they see weakness where go spirit world. Nonsense. How am I able to put all these things together? Even what an old man couldn't explain what I'm explaining to you. I'm using my number sense. I'm just using my number six. And the spirit of God is helping me. The same number six Jesus Christ was doing. Some of all these characters, what you were supposed to learn critically on your own. How to put things right the way opposed. Now, did Jesus Christ, your Jesus Christ, did he also condemn that very woman that was caught in the very act of adultery? How does he settle the case? In the book of John, chapter 8. You read it from verse 3. And these same people, they were questioning Jesus. Moses don't already talk on how you want a change out. And the same Pharisees were also the one that brought that woman before, before Jesus. Say, so I'll be caught in adultery. We just caught her. Now, I've teached a lot of teaching from that very uh, book of John, chapter 8. I've taught you that a lot of people have been, uh, they, have, they believe in favoritism, they believe in nepotism. You can see oppression there. You can see all manner of things from that very particular verse. Now, if they have the mind to bring up the woman that was caught in the very act of adultery, if I thought the Lord Moses said, let me just critically explain it to you, that the man will not be beaten, why not bring the man along with the woman that said, we met this woman, he was doing doggy star with this very woman, or the one they want to display their position with their forte them. so that if I thought the woman is denying, the man, the man will also agree. They brought only the woman before Jesus. And they were also looking for a way. He's going to say it so that they will arrest him. But when they told you about Olode, what did you say? You quickly accepted. Then you want to come and tell me, with this your foolishness, you belong to the body of Christ. <laughs> no, you are not in the body of Christ. Go and look for your body. Even God will not even accept you. Because God does not deal with foolish children. If you are never called on no, no, no warm, it will spit you out. When they brought the woman, they said this woman was caught in the very act of adultery. They even quoted a law of Moses. Section 4, subsection 280. 
during the creation, look at what the Lord Moses said. Any person found or caught in this very act will foresee this woman, so the act of adultery. The, according to the law of Moses, he should be stoned. Jesus Christ did not say, because I'm the son of God, I was sent by God. <laughs> For that simple reason, Moses is a man. He 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 is a man. No, he did not say that. He will write it down. I guess he was just having time to think. Then the Holy Spirit ministered to him. I had them this word if any of them have never wanted committed sin. Then after writing for a while, he raised up his head. He said, any of you here that have not committed sin, be the first to cast off the stone. And all of them know that they are sinners. All of them know that they are against God. Look at the techniques and the wisdom Jesus Christ used to escape danger. And you belong to the same body. Why are you senseless? Please. Come on, Lao. What's in when I mean why? Why you wear ho hoa? If you are really in the body. I can't get it. Why are you not senseless? Because Jesus Christ was a smart man in all his ways. He never fought for any single temptations. They brought it out. Because the word is wicked. But you couldn't. You couldn't. They drop up their stone and they started walking away like I get the song that we are singing was I'm walking away because there is also sin in my life. I'm walking away. They walk away. Then Jesus Christ now asked the woman, Where are your accusers? He said they are gone. He said, Be that they did not succeed in condemning you, neither do I. Go. If not here, they bed and sin no more. That was how the woman left. He said, go and see no more. That was how the woman left. But that woman right now, he encountered Jesus. Jesus, you might be a Look at how he escaped danger. Now, when a narrative come out, and that narrative was a fake narrative, that there is a sickness. And I told you earlier, that they want to put this sickness for what? To infuse a bat in it to you. But the body of Jesus Christ does not make you to think. Go and look at the story of Jesus. If at all he even exists in the spirit, you are not a part of it. You are not qualified. Jesus Christ is not looking for person, somebody that will build the church and you start worshipping him like I don't know. Be vigilant. That makes you to be in the body of Christ. When the unbeliever saw the disciple of Jesus, what did they say? They said he's Christ-like. That was what they told him. They say it is Christ-like. He said, they people, they are Christ-like. Because their character reflects it. The wisdom they apply reflects it. Their attitude reflects it. Okay, if your attitude reflects Christ, can people like us be said they are not in the body of Christ? You are the one that make me know that the body of Christ did not exist. If I thought there is any punishment behind it, let's see. Was a lot of you punished? <laughs> because you never represented him well. Any person that knows my biological father and sees me today, he must be proud of my father again and again. Hey, oh, we're Hey, yeah, man. We know. We know. We're not going. We're not going. That's what they are going to say. So, you that his character does not represent anything like that. You cannot cheat. Just civil disobedience, you can't. Then you want to tell me Jesus Christ worked in you. But was Jesus Christ foolish? Every manner of things you do today. Jesus Christ never did anyone. Now, let me take you to that John chapter 8 again. Why was the man not brought along with the woman? It might be, on my own personal explanation, all of them want to have that woman. Now, jealousy, they set her away down. Be that saying, only this man, they always agree for. Who are rich and one day. Because not be public, they for doing. It may be above all of the some of the toasters. You know, there are there are there are killer squad in the beginning today. If you watch the set of people that we are always calling these people name, Ogendo and a lot of other, they were having a clique. They use it to fight their personal fight. They put beads on their neck abroad. So that anytime you talk to them, 
They put it, project that thing. They find a way to lie to you. Because the only lip that can subdue you is that name. That's what they do. So all these things you are seeing today, for me, Kaba, for me, groups, for me, gang, for me, courtism, it started a long time ago. Even in that uh, uh, Mark chapter 12, verse, uh, I think Mark chapter 12, verse 18, it was the Sadducees who came to come and meet Jesus. And they were asking Jesus Christ some, uh, some questions he was never ready to answer. And some of the questions they asked him, they said that Jesus was approached by some Sadducees, religions, religious leader, who say there is no resurrection from death. They posted this question on him. They told Jesus there is no resurrection. Those are Sadducees. That's what they believe. They don't believe in the resurrection of Jesus. They don't believe in resurrection. Now, in that very much, chapter 12, verse 19, he said, teacher, Moses gave us a law. They were looking for all manner of it to need him. Moses gave us a law that if a man dies, leaving a wife without children, his brother should marry the widow and have children who, who will carry on the brother's name. I think there are some part of Nigeria that do the same uh, culture. As, I think I saw it in some setting. It's mostly common in, uh, I think, uh, some uh, Igbo programs. That when uh, Papa go die, senior son will want to call the mother and all of all that. You know. I guess it's a culture that black race today, they practice it. Now, if you look at that man, chapter 12, verse 20, he said, now, there were seven brothers, the first one married and died without leaving any children. Then verse 21, verse 21 of that mark, 12, he said the second one married the widow, but he also died living without no children. It was the same with the third, and so on and so forth. Now, if such question is brought before you, and they've already told you this, what your ancestors permit, how will you be able to subdue these very questions? So it takes wisdom to serve God. Even before you start, you want to go to church. Don't go to church with empty head. Go to church with sense. Don't, don't be so foolish. Church are not supposed to make for foolish people. If foolish people go to church, they will start misusing anointing. They will not understand. They will not be able to interpret any kind of spirit. Any spirit that shakes in the church, they call it is demonized. That's why today 99% of pastors we have, they are brainless. That's why they couldn't identify that this spirit, the thing they worry this place, it's like when, uh, when you put a tree somewhere and the pressure of the fan that is blowing, it will over disturb the tree as if the tree have no uh, whatever in the ground or when the breeze is too much. So the anointing is too much for the person inside the church. That's why it's vibrating. Before you know, they'll say, bring him out. In the spiritual realm, the person the pastor said they should bring out, let him not start casting demons from the person. The person in the spiritual realm is bigger than the pastor. He knows that the person is disturbed because the atmosphere where he is is not supposed to be there at that time. They think they are disturbing him or her. They will turn that person to be a demonic person. You see, pastor begin to pray. Lose, 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 lose. The person with some assault and some evil, some evil break their leg. At the end of the day, the same person they said they have delivered after the person now don't fall, lost strength because he was not supposed to be there in that atmosphere. They will say they are succeeded, but this same person will go back to his original self again. Pentecostal always apply the wrong method. In dealing with spiritual issues. Have you ever seen any pastor you tell anything? All of them, all they go for is spiritual welfare. They can never ask you and say, okay, let's call this person and settle it. Before you know, let's pray. We are going to do seven day prayer and fasting. Even when you are the one that is wrong. What kind of dirty religion is that? They don't go for peacekeeping. They don't go for, there are no negotiation in their diary. They, they, they can't. Because they are senseless. Everything is fire, 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 fire. But if you go and meet your tradition, your tradition will ask, they will consult Oracle. We need to make an appeal, my son. They, if they make appeal, they call the body of the powers involved. 
they submitted what they demanded for spiritually and the persons continue now they will tell her now the body now go tell her say a no me which is see go bear but in the petty raster they're not saying oh, that even when you are wrong even when you are problem to yourself is that 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 how will it die was even the jesus able to kill satan when they something tempted him after 40 days and 49 he couldn't defeat satan according to this story. he said satan departed for a while i guess satan where where satan we are living they bet with each other he couldn't because satan he gave you power to he couldn't now who did jesus christ don't feel kill now you want kill he said get behind me satan departed for a while and later came back for him again it was not scriptural that jesus christ must die at the age of 33. he couldn't escape it any longer they caught him and uh, he was killed he was not in any way that the age of 33 you must die what about if he have died at the age of 100 what about if he have even married so that he enjoy life also what about it i think it would be better do you think it was mandated that Una the canoe have to go to second prison. He, uh, he had to go uh, there. Uh, he must have to be kidnapped in Kenya. It was not written. All this is where you are hero. If you are with the wrong people around you, if Judas Carrot never saw Jesus, he would have still be alive today. Maybe for God died at the age of uh, 120 years. At the, the same death of Jesus Christ, we are always happy about our times. He died for my sin. Before you know this very Jesus, and now, what have changed? Because the reason why we need to change a lot of narratives away from our lives, you have to do comparison. Before and now, how is my life? Your life, your life is your life even is even increasing. The disturbances you are getting from enemy is increasing, and the power you are trying to use to counter your enemy is not the real power. But if you yourself you know who you are, and you are able to discover, to recover. Most of the stone they throw, it will not get to you. But right now, they have to put you on the pot. They will put magi, put salt. Don't put fire now. It go remains more may start to the boil before you come see person, you come see rescue, you come out. But under normal condition, maybe the kind of spirit that you have, you were not supposed to even be put for pot. They will only disturb you a little, but right now, they will put you for fire. Because why? You are not using the right method to take care of your problem. So the ministry of Jesus, I have not even seen anybody who is doing it where the way it's supposed to be. Jesus Christ was a wisdom person, according to the story. Look at how he escaped all danger. He did not say, Caesar, you are stupid. He said, well, give what belongs to Caesar to Caesar. If the kingdom where you are from, all of you watching right now, you have one place or the other you belong, you will not tell me. We are controlled by one spirit or the other. And most of this spirit, they are good. The, the spirit that controls humans. A lot of people will not convert that spirit, carry that same power, go to another occult that was formed. Would, for example, right now, there are departments of marines who do bad. That one is also different from Mother Earth. Mother Earth is to protect all his children. But the same mother earth can give way for you to be slashed. The protection was supposed to give to you, be that you are a disobedient child. They cannot even, at times, they treat you as a prodigal son. Okay, now you are back. They are not going to treat you as a prodigal. You now become treating you as a prodigal son. You now come right now, they'll be happy. At times, you're coming back. You are worsening everything again. Why did you let off for so long? You will daily pay for it. Now, let's go to the book of Leviticus 26, verse 13. He said, I am the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt. So you should no longer be their slave. I break the yoke of slavery from your neck, so you can be with your ears high. This was God talking to the children of Israel. He was giving them a warning. Listen now. That Leviticus 26, verse 14. He said, but if you will not listen to me and will not do all these commandments, 
Remember, there's already a commandment already. You shall worship your Lord that God. And anything that makes you not to worship your Lord that God, wait for the repercussion. You are going to be seeing how disobedient to nature have made our life today miserable. We are feeling we know it much. And we cannot trade this Jesus Christ to anything. Okay. Which river there for the worship Jesus? Let's be frank and sincere. Put it there. <laughs> the same Marie, the same Marie you are running from, the same I be, I not be my jail that you are be denying. The same selector pastor you are be your pastor, I'll be your useless pastor, I'll be criticizing. This that same river, the same queen of the coast, the same mother earth, the same mother nature. After you have fooled yourself in the body of Christ, now you still go meet because now in then your pots with this river. Now the one root and give you. <laughs> Mad people everywhere. <laughs> Look at Leviticus 26 by 15. He said, if you reject my decree and abhor my laws and fail to carry out all my commands and so violate my covenant, the Lord then look at the Leviticus 26 verse 16. He said, I will punish you. I will bring sudden terror upon you, wasting disease, burning fever that will cause your eye to fail and your ear, your life to air away. You will plant your crops in vain because your enemy will eat them. If we carry this into our physical nature today, that's what we are going through disobedience disobedience imagine somebody that lived up to about 20 years body the kingdom where you are from they never say worship us now every of my spirit I scatter you I bush you you so money on their head then you expect to make life the, Jesus Christ could they kill it who is head of Illuminati today Illuminati is not a spirit, you, it's an occult. It is the combination of uh, spirit from Iteku, spirit from uh, Marine, spirit from uh, Marine Forest, free from all the Freemason and all of other. They combine together. There are a lot of people that really has power, like all those Elijah of those days. They were the one that formed Illuminati, they were the one that formed Freemason. What they do, their power is from devil. They do what, what, what devil likes. God will never demand of human sacrifice from you. But at times oracle will come. If you want to be rich now, now, that's why you are hearing about human sacrifice. No ram you will kill. If you like one, kill 100 ram. That will make you as rich as somebody that goes use human sacrifice. They use it to overturn things that were not supposed to turn. He, give, he, he will give you a trial of what you demanded. That's why they go into human sacrifice. Why is it that there is blood money everywhere today? These are the reason why there are blood money. Because this is your hair, so it is specially made. If you are able to bring it to the kingdom of darkness, they will give you whatever thing you need. You will give somebody spiritual, you start seeing cash physical. That's how it functions. So let us not be disobedient to nature. Now, if you look at that Leviticus 26, verse 17, he said, I will turn against you, and you will be defeated by your enemies. So those who hate you will rule you over you, and you will run even when no one is chasing you. That's what disobedience do. It is not only God you are disobedient with. Don't be disobedient to your own self. We are like a spirit living inside a body, and your spirit. Is being fueled by our Baba God in heaven. That's why when they had Jesus Christ, this thing, for example, ah, according to the Lord Moses, look at Leviticus now. Ah, why are you saying this? Even they, they can have one far refer him to the book of uh, to the book of Genesis, chapter 8, verse 20. I don't know how to build an ark, build an altar for God. They will quote the verse for him. Okay, are you, are you not going to say Noah is stupid? This is the same thing people are doing today. That Noah is mad. Noah was a devil because he made sacrifice. Moses was an idiot. He made sacrifice. Abraham, our Abraham, our Baba himself. The first uh, 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 fathers of all fathers. Then, uh, okay, I'm having, you know. Now, only you want, now, because the body of Christ you belong to. 
See how we have fooled ourselves. See how we have ignorantly put pains and agony upon ourselves. Now, the only person you obey is the narrative that we have set up. You are not obedient to even your spirit being. Why is it that most of the time if you are, if you are in the dream, you come by, you run, run, something will give you strength. That is your guardian angel, your spirit being that you were created with. That is the God inside of you in making. You are a spirit, you live inside a body. That's why when somebody you're down and close, I don't go. The spirit will leave. The body will get rust away. Now, why is your spirit not at a lot? Why the effectiveness of your spirit is so low? Because what will reveal, what will make your spirit to be trendful, what will make your spirit to be alive, you saw it that already. Too much blood. Not even recognizing where you are from. A lot of us today with the phone. Some of us, we are supposed to be a soothsayer. We are supposed to be a prophet in our family. God knows the reason why among your mother children gave you that strength. He did not give you that strength for bad. Maybe because you came through a family who does only know what's happening. Who does not know that is way not here. Ah. He told them to ask questions, look at what my child is doing. You know? They start looking for pastor who know how to pray. The spirit will be disturbing you. I've seen people today that most of our women that who took battle upon themselves know where their parents did not take them to. But today, if, if for example, they end up killing that child, who would have been fighting for a do for us today? The gods of our land, who would have they be using? Can our gods use you today? And our gods cannot use you because you have no spirit that can communicate with the gods. You sold it out with the blood. That's why you are traitless. And this strength you have, we are supposed to also be for your children. Wherever your child go, it will excel. Because of who you are, look at right now. You are treatless. What you are not supposed to spend money for at time, you spend excess money for it. And this is the thing you are supposed to be doing for people. As a result of disobedience to nature. We never want to know. We live all manner of life. I've never, in my life, I've never wanted to start intimating anybody. Want to say, maybe you get one spirit out they run from you. The same way you that have no spirit, the same way I see everybody to be equal. I don't run. Just be sleep and, uh, you know, be talking. Be talking that you are inside the river. Me, I'm on my own. If you finish from the river, you can meet me at the garden. You know me. But look at how we, how we are running exemptions. Today, calamity upon calamity. Look at what God said. Disobedient. That's what it does. God have his own. We are, also, we are also working under the commandment of God. How many of you, for those of you that have been there, how many of you that mother earth want to ask something from you will be asking human blood? He asked the same thing they asked Abraham. He asked the same thing they ask your four forefathers. God knows why you, you were made like you were made like that for a purpose. But Pentecostal is the problem that we have today. They don't ask questions. Or they start banding. The way we write appeal physically, when the uh, government is telling you leave this country, you write an appeal. Then they what call reappeal again. If they give you fuera, you write an appeal. Then you have to reappeal again. After reappeal, the, the Spanish people call it recurri. Then you are not giving the law. Your lawyer has not given good reasons. We are not what kind this person go. So what are this person done? Look at what our law says. This person. You guys have no right to deport the person. Also, it is in the spiritual ring. Also, it, that's why if somebody tie you at times now, you meet a better person, what they do? They demand a spiritual sacrifices. It's not going to be solved by God. You may end up killing the person. Why the people that are going to eat you in the coven, they will still eat you. What you do right now, you look for somebody, a priest, who can also stand and represent you. In that same, I will not call it Coven. In that same night meeting, who will stand as a lawyer to you? You cannot go to court here. What you do, you pay a lawyer. The same money you pay a lawyer in fighting, in writing a appeal. The same money you pay when you have spiritual problem to your priest who wants to represent you. <laughs> so that's how it functions. Everything you are seeing physical today happen is spiritual. That's why if anybody illegally try to deport you, when they will not oppose the case, the case for the find out that there's somebody petitioning you, they find out that you are not guilty, the person will be sanctioned. So it is also in the spiritual realm. Because you hate somebody, you just gotta go tie the person. Then if they find out 
that you are don't worry the person for nothing. I have seen people write appeal. Why you want to kill this person? Leave him. Everything was settled. He will go and reappeal again. Carry ramp, carry different things. Go submit him for spirit word. The reason why they must give him time to take you. There are people. That's why you see some people today. If you try to worry you, you can't go get problem. That's when back to sender happens. Back to sender does not happen. The real back to sender happen when you follow it serially the way it ought to be. That's why when we were growing up, if you take your great great grandfather, the reason why their father left them with some certain medicine was because of the environmental uh, the environment they was. Oh, we mean why you why you you know now this one I'm make me to explain that the Ghana, some of their players attach onto for waste. That's what they believe on. If if there was football pitch, then in Israel, now so they sit at the time. Now those uh, Nigerian people now they saw. Okay, now the body of Christ not be power. Now maybe now what your ancestors given. These are the same things Senegal are doing here abroad. Eight, Ninety percent of Senegal. They don't let the tax on for their waste. The same thing you see in that Ghana player. Now God go bless him. Now I ask what he has us give him. You go tie the blood. Tie the blood. Uh, somebody wrote that. Uh, they come with juju. What did they want to come, come with before? What did they want to come with before? Are they not African? The African, are they really? Did they qualify? They qualified. They use it to win you. Now, you, you also pray the name of the blood of Jesus. It's not everybody that belongs to this uh, body of Christ. These are the things you see in the body of God. If you don't know, for with Jesus, you not No Senegal here have been arrested in the old Spain because they wear this. At times, most of them is like this. Let me show you something. Most of them is like this. They'll come time traditionally. They'll come time. Put time for hand. That guy also now waste the putan. Now waste the putan. These people now when they talk say they do juju. You know they now they do mercy to the trip with woman. If now ukba kona to stick, na yare rere. How do you how Nigeria? Now that one they put body. The one we go make them succeed in football, they will never do it. Only Nigeria you will lose football. They want be destroy stadium. But you are not destroying your league. You are not destroying property over insecurity. So let's be very, very careful. Let's learn how to, you know, question a lot of narrative. I tell let's do reflection. This life I'm living. Am I going front? Am I going back? Disobedient to nature. I've seen a lot of people who we are supposed to be a society today. Who we are supposed to even be showing you all the terrible spiritual thing. You are not the one showing them. As a result of blood, 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 blood. Now, if these same people we are trying to meet, after her, don't they meet us? If they have also lived the life that you live, who you for the cry they meet? I want to, I want everyone of us to digest this very topic so that we we'll go home and start raising it. I'm saying this thing, I'm not saying to scold you. Every one of us has a spirit. Me, myself, I have a spirit. My spirit is a lot. That's why I will boldly tell you what it be. Man. All law, all power. Because you are going to jam a lot of, a lot of powers. Because I'm a covenant son. I wait in me, wauna wano. Except you are you guys come out. That's why people go to human sacrifice. Just to settle one or two spirits. They go, that's why they do it. Under normal condition. He do level. I was here though. But go do level for Benina. They'll call you over your back. He do level I was your back. Who's supposed to be the best? Okay. You that have your brain in the center of your head. What am I doing wrong? By saying the truth. Can you ever build a nation with lies? But we that are saying the truth today, automatically we are in Ezra. You cannot just go home freely. They can stone your head. But the killers are celebrated. The legislatives are celebrated. But the main people who will come here and educate you, what the truth does, if of all make you miserable before it make you okay, digest it. All what I'm telling you right now, go and sit down. What did I really come to this life to come and do? Our life was supposed to be more than two flags. Maybe most of all, what God sent us to come and do to come and part life. Just what I'm doing right now, fulfilling the word of God already. Jesus Christ left down a legacy. He's the best teacher. He was the best teacher. Despite it was a narrative. Now, Africa, 
Nike could convert them to a different thing entirely. If we both they teach you Bible, you want to teach you this very place right now. You go tell you always use your wisdom. Don't you say how you escaped that? Don't you say how Jesus Christ escaped that? In the book of John? He didn't say Moses, you are, you are stupid. Moses is mad. Look at how I was able, you know, ask them this question. If you know you have not committed sin, we today we cannot ask such a question. Now, for the people of my Temata, where we are where I Temata, where that moon there. If you ever say truth in your life again and you are calling a people you will not doubt yourself on your answer. You can say the you can speak truth in Udo. I can tell you to speak truth about what's happening in Benin City. Because that's what God lay in my heart. You speak truth about what's happening in Benin. Why yourself you talking truth about what's happening in California? Should they people also call you Ogyomba because you speak truth in California? These are the problems that we have. These are the senselessness of some human beings. And uh, we are keeping quiet. That's why today the, the useless people in our society they are getting much. A society where the intelligent people keep quiet. Animal will come be a general overseer. If you know you have brain, construct a sentence, put it there. They were about to need Jesus. They planned already. Let go and ask him these questions. They ask him, even if I caught them, he told them you are hypocrites. They know what they are supposed to do. They are the, they are be paying this task to Caesar. Why are you asking me again? They are be paid this task to Caesar before you were born. Right now they are not asking him. Are, are we to pay our task to Caesar? Yes or no? They were saying they were waiting for him to say no. But he said, "Give me a Roman coin." What is Christian is here? Who write this thing here? Who put this stand for here? Give what belong to Caesar to Caesar, and what belong to God to God. Are you giving what belongs to Caesar to Caesar in your life? Will a, a prophecy come now and say, my, my daughter, buy coconut, use the water, wash your head, pray this prayer. Maybe some of you, because your roommate is in Christ Embassy, you can't do it, you say, you know, if you do, and there is where your destiny lies. Because maybe they are trying to tell you that where the enemy will never know your secret because nobody know how come about water inside the coconut maybe that what your your spirit being the god that guides you which is your your shadow there are people they'll be working they have no shadow they are dead among the living do you know they are human beings that have no shadow you go and test yourself at time whether you get shadow maybe your shadow not fake your spirit being have left you because of disobedience to nature we disobey everything I not knowing that the devil will so plant the Jesus in you. The devil will even be the one to make you speak in tongues. Because when people start speaking in tongues, they start living a buzzy life. Yes, I cannot speak in tongues now. Any of that thing, they're not again and decide again. If prophecy comes for us, I went now here, now you're a woman, uh, 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 salt and uh, white chalk, to pray for all the children of this family. It will only be the one that will not connect that line that day. Because devil want to kill him or kill her. Disobedient. What, what Jesus himself couldn't do, who were 100% God and 100% human. Now you will see the commitment small thing where God just just live by the grace of God. Now you won't go do. Have you ever heard me say devil is a bastard? If I will talk on a joke, one, why must you not even respect devil sinning on me? Oh damn it. What am I about people claiming that devil is a bastard? Someone told me a story. He will be criticizing this very woman in the presence of his member. But after church, now this woman they come they meet. Hey, mama, you me na me no day. Another day again did this thing. The members came to come and tell this woman, say, look at how this pastor is insulting you. And I'm always seeing this pastor here. He later came back and said, Mama, I don't say they'll come meet you now. They'll come meet you now. Come tell you, sir, they saw you. They are wearing a hammer away video. He remember where the bones of women are. They are all joking. That devil is a bastard. My, my dear, the devil himself knows say, the only trick they can use to put you in the bondage is by insulting the devil. The devil is who they worship. They camouflage it by saying Jesus. They worship the devil. All this Christian body you are seeing. It is a pagan body. It is not real. Only one theory today. Let me reiterate again. It is the body of God. Because on that body of God, Queen Monda will be there. 
your ancestors will be present. The 24 elders will be there. Whether you are a sinner or not, you must be there. But the sins you are committing, who are you using it against is what matters. There are sins you commit right now, you are doing yourself. You are not, it's not affecting any person. Why there are people, they just want to make people cry. They are evil genius. They want to make other people cry. So I'm telling us again and again, earlier the better for every one of us to stress back ourselves and begin to ask ourselves area where we have missed it. Don't take it personal. As I'm speaking right now, the message may be hitting you hard from your mind, but don't take it personal. It's just a matter of a change. We have seen so... The reason why today so many ladies, very beautiful, the spirit will not make you marry. If you like, go and be, go from Jesus women to... To Martin of Fire or Martin of Idiot, my dear. In a cool woman, though. Or till you answer that call. In a cool. No husband will ever come across you. The very day you answer, that's why this thing we are just brought to put, particularly the black race, into menace. This Christianity we are brought to kill us. What we are supposed to learn from it, what I'm just telling you right now. No, no, have I mentioned the blood since? I get you are right now, you'll be interested. A lot of you that have not shared video today, you will share this very one. Because I was, I was able to catch your mind from a different perspective. Let not be disobeyed. We disobey too much. The thing just that try and manage the kind of spirit that you have. Manage it. Don't use it to do bad. Tell God, God make use of me. It will make use of you. If all these prophets were even saying, let everyone assume they are real. And you will have the power more than they are at the initial stage. This same you today, as the, the same prophet, will not do fake water and scent for you because he does not know who you are. You does not know who you are. Huh? Look at everybody in the Bible. They did exploit. God listened to them. Some of you that go to select today, select will tell you, buy one ram, buy one boo, buy white cloth. If that person have not answered his or her call, you go see and call. Though by so doing, you yourself, you are hurting God already, because what God makes you, created you for to come and do in life, you are not doing it. You are following the blood. How many of our pastors today doing the right thing? The same power they criticize. The same thing they are doing. Now they pay me pass. The same your queen mother that you commonize. The, the love your queen mother have for you. If they happen to have that kind of queen mother that love them, they will do exploit. Why are they trying to add fake miracle? Can I go and be adding fake miracle now? What God used me to do, he revealed things to me. He put it in my heart. I begin to fight it gradually. That was why I'm one of the people who could fight Zetacron to a standstill. All till now, we are still in the struggle. That's a miracle. It does not just happen once. It is a gradual miracle that you go to metamorphose into something tomorrow. But the only way you yourself can also be a part and parcel of this very message or be a part and parcel of the blessing, is for you to also share. Whatever thing you have from here, extend it to your loved ones. The conviction you've gotten, I'm convincing you right now for you to have freedom. This is the reservation. Not telling you things, but nobody teach you wisdom that Jesus Christ we're having. All we concentrate on is the blood. All we concentrate on is the blood. How many times? He, he, he himself was not even used. He does not talk much. Look at the book of John chapter 11. When Lazarus, he said Lazarus comfort. He does not waste time too much. The man, uh, the, the man, uh, the black Bartimaeus. That one just shouted, Jesus son of David have mercy on me. He couldn't go his attention. He shouted again, Jesus son of David have mercy on me. He called the man. What did you want? He said, so that we receive my sight. After that first uh, 40 day prayer and fasting, there is nowhere recorded that Jesus Christ started fasting again. He called it forth because the Baba God in heaven, he has been endowed. With the virtue that you declare yourself you are a son of God, can I go and be asking for? Ask me any question right now. Where can I go today? I only just read. I only just read. The wisdom is already there to explain the word. I'm always at a lot. I'm always in the vineyard of that inspirational word from the word of God. So what it will take me one minute to digest, it will take you ten years. That what makes a difference. Practice makes for perfect. He said faith comes by hearing and hearing of the word of God. He did say the word of Jesus. These are the words that will give you faith. 
But how many of our pastors right now who have sense like this? They don't have sense. All they do, they don't negotiate. Ban, 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 ban. Look at that Leviticus chapter 26, verse 18. He said, if after all this, all what I've read since, you will not listen to me, I will push you for your, for, 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 for your sin. Seven times over. He said, after it might have wounded you, you know what's he here? He go double your punishment. Do you know how many unsettled case of marine? Do you know how many of our people are, 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 are that is they are suffering today? Do you know how many of our people that are suffering today? Do you know how many homes are broken, broken into pieces? Now marine they don't. They'll scatter your life. All things you obey that call. We'll make it on you. No pastor can tell you this. And this was happening. David on Gilesunu. Look at the data, Leviticus 26, verse 19. He said, I will break the pride of, of what of your power. I will make your, your heavens like iron and your earth like bronze. He goes scatter everything they buy you. Disobedient, that's what it costs. And that'd be better for you. I'm not trying to say you become an idol worshiper. But go and settle your differences. At times, they can give you opportunity to make an appeal for yourself. Then walk away. What is drawing most, most people back today is disobedience. You yourself, you know who you are. And right now, you are running from one fake pastor or the other. What you are supposed to be doing for people is what people are not doing for you. They are eating your money for free. You feel it's, it's normal. Because they are acting it. Once you just watch telly now, we are always excited. Somebody is praying. What God cannot do does not exist. But it does not teach you the world. Behave, have the character of Jesus. Jesus Christ fight for the well-being of the people. Look at it today. Now, Nigeria, they wake up now. They don't the blast airport now. They don't the blast train track right now. What? Ah, no, yeah, no. But I just take flight. Get money to enter flight. It's the population agenda. It must get to you. Now, look at the recent uh, this thing. They did their one year anniversary recently. This is what bad government is doing right now. Let me read it for you. I can also show you some of the pictures. This is what bad government is doing right now. This is what bad government is doing right now. Stophavingkicks.org. You can put it on your this thing. Look at what they are talking there. Stophavingkicks.org. He said, teach. Treat kids that having kids is optional. So they are bringing this into schools now. They will be logically be teaching your children this in the school. That it is not obligated that uh, you must, your children must take care of you when you are old. Look at one here. The only one had to Havingkicks.org. You go go and let us in. Look at what's written here. Let me read it. Having kids to care for you when you are old is exploitation. What about they keep on teaching this thing? And your son where you put eye. You don't want to fight for a better society where your future they go for. Or where you can be going for pit toilet and you know, see how people can go job for you. At least at the age of 80, you can still have a young youth, no boy, a man, or a man, you go with one that will be controlling your business. What about this thing sinking to your daughter's head? The same people you left, you did, you did not care to recognize them, the spirit where you carry on life. Sorry for that break of transmission. Then the, the same people you left, you refused to recognize them as in they are even somebody at all. If at all you are not in the midst, at least what they demand from you, do it. And they choose to also worry your kids. They will say, they worry you? Then he say, having kids to take care of you when you are old, older, is exploitation. So this thing right now is, is ongoing. So we are finished. It's even with their face mask. This is what they are teaching Students in school right now, they are teaching them already. Stop having kids. Now, when Bigay said that the population agenda, so uh, contraceptive, 
He was not joking. They are bringing it right now globally. What, what to make sure you stop it? They don't want you to burn. Because they have a way they want to create their own children. They've already got in a lab on how they are going to create their children. Now you might be the doing Mosian. Look at all of them. They have a very big website. Look at it. Now tell me what it be their problem inside. For, for, for those of you that say we don't feel keep person, they don't feel do this one. Now, why are they bringing all these things up now? There are people that are from town over Mount of Bond. But make it right now a message. I get there's something wrong with it. Just the same way you yourself uh, uh, carry the blood of Jesus. Today, oh, you here, nothing wrong with it. The same way you will burn the children into this life, they come across different kind of society. They begin to tell their disadvantage in having kids. And you come see the bond. And your picky come to give you headache. You know, say, as I your day here now. I know you send though. Anytime I feel go anywhere, you know. I feel you go anywhere, nobody go disturb me, nobody go ask me money. There are people because people are very weak in brain. People are very weak. A lot of people brain are be drained. So what we are lying today that is happening as, that to happen in our society, we are not even thinking about the children that might be. We should be thinking about the same people. If at all you are no longer in life today, who is not there to be talking to your children? Any kind of society that we want, let's fight it for our children. Let's fight it. Folding up our hands, just looking as if nothing is happening, I guess it's not the best. The few things I know today, the little I know, is what I'm always bringing here. I'm not selfish with it. Even when I'm not supposed to come out of time, God give me a viable thing. You need to go and let them to know this. The Jesus Christ, the body of Jesus, he was a very sensible guy, young man. Then you are seventy. You are following somebody who started a ministry at the age of 30. Look at what he could do. Let us know all these things we are putting down saying I ain't talking more. But 70 years old to the 70 years old man, you cannot think. Is that not a mirage? But do you think that is right? A boy 33 years old and he blood the one use, even in word, you cannot create any narrative. You just the follow and follow, follow. It's a very big shame. You go and look at our society. Our societal problem does not concern you. Even your individual life, you cannot do cross-checking. You cannot balance accounts. You don't even know who you are going to become. So how will you be able to know whether anything is wrong with you or not? These are the problems today. Anywhere we are Most of all right now, we are already in Europe. Okay, you are in Europe. What have you achieved apart from the block you have in your home? What about Nigerian continues like this? What are we doing today to make sure it works? In the time of your trial, do the little, and, uh, the little you can and leave the rest for God. It's an error for you not to do anything at all. We are not doing anything about our personal lives. All this thing I'm telling you right now, where are you had it from one day? You have never one day had it. You are getting it for free. This is some of the things that God said, freely you have, uh, you have received, freely you shall give. God gave me this brain freely. I did not pay for this one in school. Months of you that are studying in Oswald, you cannot do this kind of teaching. Because you don't have the grace to, how are you going to say it? You don't even have time. But I meditate upon the word of God day in and out. When you are thinking of how you are going to put picture people's picture in Juju, I'm trying to say, if somebody's picture is being placed in Juju, how can we remove it? I'm combining the dots. God gave me this message today. It was this very today. I have no option to come and put it here. I teach it before. This very uh, Caesar and uh, give what belongs to Caesar to Caesar and what belongs to God to God. For both from another dimension. But today, right now, I'm also explaining it. Forget about the monetary side. The monetary side were put in there. Because the rest of that one, they cannot really put it. He will also ask, why is Moses, why is Noah, why was Solomon making all those sacrifices? I guess he was also asked. Because it came to come and meet the same people who their former father were doing the same thing. And that is the same thing they were doing. If your spirit demands, bring ram, go give him. Give what belongs to the spirit to the spirit and what belongs to God to God. And in, in all your lifetime, no matter how you may be spending, 
there must be a part you pay to God. It may not be one time, it may even be half. You must use part of your salary to do the will of God. That what belong to Caesar to Caesar and what belong to God to God. But right now our own, we are not giving what belong to Caesar to Caesar. No problem, the map pass, they come so. We are not giving it. Give what belongs to Caesar. If you don't give what it belongs to Caesar to Caesar, who we'll do any I go see anyhow? Not the chop Caesar, they join your own. <laughs> where are your Caesar by where? Give what belongs to Caesar to Caesar. If not heck where, if not heck he no little worry. Me and I may wear blood or you wear any. But why do they pull pay bra price for your head? Why your man go die, Egbe must give you lift. Why you don't go there by yourself? They pass all the bad list, they come and they bury your man. As Egbe is giving you list, you are giving what belongs to Caesar to Caesar. Pastor will never tell you not to buy the things Egbe give you. Do you know the area they tell you, convince you about, give what belongs to Caesar to Caesar. But when it comes to some other things, they can never advise you. They know that that's what the spirit demands. The reason why for Okburu, no matter how many cows you go buy, they must still buy goats. Because maybe that goat, to my own personal uh, explanation I'm going to be giving you, it may not be exactly, don't get it twisted. It may be that goat, that is what is going to join your mother with his ancestors, or your father with their ancestors. There are ways they do barriers. A lot of traditional right need to be put in place. That is what will make your own dead father now, we join his ancestors. That's why not until somebody is buried, he's, he's not part of the ancestors yet. That's why they say they are laid the person to rest. That does if the person is not yet buried, he has not yet rested. Then he cannot rest, put his back on the ground, sand will be poured on him. Then automatically he join up with his ancestors. But some people will say Christian burial. But why you know they do a Christian burial? I mean, you not buy anything for it. Carry your pastor, may you go bury him. I have your material. So there are big contra that, 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 contradictions. Contradiction too much for this thing. But let's try and use our head. Let's learn to give what if you give what belongs to Caesar to Caesar. Yes, yes, oh. We are hand your Caesar by we have a problem. Most of you right now watching me, you are you have a man spirit. The reason why it's evil to meet you here and there, who do I want to back? Because you, you didn't you didn't recognize it. You they do kata kata, they do kitty kitty. Most of us feel that uh, why did they say money cannot buy love? People that have lost their home today are the people who really gave money to their husband. That business, you just say that the man chop your money, not be the man chop your money. Now the spirit where they worry you, now make that money vanish. It's in the book of uh, of Leviticus now. Read the book of Leviticus 26 verse 17. He said, I will turn against you. And I will, I will def you will be defeated by your enemy. Those who hate you will, will rule over you. And you will run even when no one is chasing you. That's what disobedience does. Do you know if God wants to punish a nation, give them a wicked leader. Adult people, they don't get good mind. I mean, they never get good God. Most of them, the majority of them, don't get good mind. The good man will both get, I mean, God, they give them good leader. If God wants to punish a nation, he give them a bad leader. Look at it, now, not be God. Now, me, I'm away, Tao. Now, God, talk come on. He said, I will turn against you. And you will be defeated by your enemies. Those who hate you. Look at Fulani today. They are defeating us. Because we ourselves, our man, don't good. Imagine somebody is talking. You don't think you are committing sin. So your society now as you want me to be now your character and your attitude all your year. Everybody claim righteousness. How is your mind towards me? You hate everything I'm doing. Then you want to live a better society. Look at it now. But body of Christ. You won't read it to go and read Leviticus 28 verse 17. And come and tell me tomorrow. We we all know it, but we both very sincere. That was why Jesus Christ, he was very sincere. David was very sincere. Ah, San Amigo Duan. Now it was that is he does not blame any other person. David will not try to start bringing what uh, other person have done. Oh God, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Please 
punish me instead of you to give me to my enemy. But black man, look at people now. Oh, hey, stealing land, though. A lot of idiots came out and started fighting me. Even where they are not the ones stealing the land, but at the end of the day. The custodian of drinking water, Rolande Echo, was a thief. But when we started saying, what did they do? What did they do? They were pissed off. Then you want to have a better leader. How will you, how will you have a better leader when you are not sincere? They, 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 what I hate about them, what I dislike about them, they don't even defend them, themselves. They defend their useless leaders. Who you human beings call for water? That who they defend. They, they are not defending themselves. Oh. They cannot even defend their biological fathers. Look at the useless proclaiming kingdom today. But they are not ashamed that kingdom have no road to farm. Kingdom, the children in the kingdom is being stolen away by what? Because of your sin. That's why God said, I will turn against you. And you will be defeated by full and inherent which is your enemies. You will be running when nobody is even chasing you. That's what God said. If God wants to punish a country, he gives them a bad. That's why Nigeria is facing punishment. Was it not the guy, the same Ghana they drove away 1983? Not be beat there, so the people are now saying Ghana they use juju. Where they want use before? You know, you juju now your ancestors now use your ancestors too. Ancestors, why are bombing who bombing here? Why are they bombing and knocking to aiding and abetting criminals? Los Kilipoyas and Los Cabrones. We, we won't survive this, please. Continue to disconnect yourself. The little way you can, what you have learned here today, begin to put this in place. I want to see you in the next life that's coming that you are doing well. I'm tired of seeing a lot of mirage. We are inventing a lot of things that was not supposed to be in our destiny. We are putting in our destiny. A lot of things we have invented in this very Europe. It's not a part of your life. It was not supposed to be a part of your system. You invented it today. It's like an occupation. But your spirit never needs it. We are just managing so please let brain it here. God bless you all. My name is Comrade Newton. Igmene Gun, the Archbishop of Activism, the hero for democracy and ambassador for good governance. I think I've told us today's date. Today's date is 30th, March, Wednesday, 2022. Our phone number remains plus 34-631-056-284. Plus 34-631-056-284. Until I come your way again, from me to you, Remain blessed. Keep the ball rolling. My dear, believe in your ancestors. Stop being disobedient child. And as you hearken to the words of God, and as your ancestors is calling you back, stretch back your step. The one you can do, do it with utmost joy. But don't do it to hurt anybody. Rather than do it as you are praying for yourself, pray for other people. God bless you. Amen.